Hi, my name is Lynn Comp. I'm the Technologies Marketing Director, and today we will be going under the hood on Intel's next generation non-volatile memory technology products. Data explosion. Everybody's talking about this huge data explosion. What does that really translate into? 40% data growth year on year. Every individual, every person. Where are you going to put all that data? What are you going to do with all of that data? Intel's had an initiative called Software Defined Infrastructure that has some architectural concepts that are going to transform the way that we do storage, moving memory closer to the data or moving the storage closer to the compute. Intel is re-architecting this storage and memory transformation, and it starts now. Now. And there's three major contributions and components that we're putting forward in the industry. There's the Intel SSDs. Those are going to give you better endurance, higher resilience, better speed than a hard drive. On top of that, there's the NVMe interface. That takes a lot of the latency out of it, so you're not waiting for data to move back and forth. And on top of that, there's the iCAS caching software. So all three of those building blocks together are the first step in that re-architecture of storage and memory. When you look at the storage architectures, there's been a lot of latency, a lot of information that has been built in the stack because of the assumptions around how slow or fast the bus that you're sitting on actually is going to perform. How do I take out the slowness in the response and in moving the data? So just a real practical example, we had a one terabyte big data analytics sort that we ran, and we started experimenting with different building blocks on the solution. And when we plugged in Intel SSDs, the speed in which you took to be able to do a one terabyte sort, it went down by 50%. And that's a significant benefit. That's just an SSD without the NVMe attached. And then the NVMe, the I.O. interfaces, that's another six times the latency reduction from SAS and SATA. So you put all that together and you can just get your work done faster. If the customers modernize with these technologies, they're going to get a huge TCO benefit. You can't build a new data center just because you need more storage space. So if you can't afford a new data center, then use SSDs. You're not going to need as many of them. Sometimes you can replace seven to one, seven traditional media storage devices, one SSD. It's a lot of space savings. That isn't even accounting for the heat savings and the power bills. So you're not wasting space, you're not wasting power, you're not wasting any of your costs. You've got the data right where you need it when you need it. You've got iCaching that puts the most frequently used data in that really thin layer. You don't need as many SSDs because it knows exactly what you need. So we've talked about performance, we've talked about power, we've talked about density. The other thing that's really important is the agility, the responsiveness of your data center. People want things on a human time frame. So how quickly can you service your customers? How quickly can they get the answers they need? So you've got efficient cost because of the caching, you've got efficient speed because of NVMe, and then you've got density and thin because of the SSD. That's the combination that you want to put together. Thank you.